Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for Christmas in July blog hop put on by scrampitstamp.ca. Today's project uses a Stampendous stamp set which is called Winter Stack and it's a delightful little stamp set in that you can add different bodies to different heads so you can make many different combinations with just a few changes within uh, your design. I've stamped three different snowmen with three different heads and uh, I layered them using masks so that I could have a nice little scene here. I used post-it note all over sticky 3M uh, product. Uh, they're great in that there's only a little smidge that does not have a sticky back and they apply nice and firmly to the base. Before you do the ink blending just go over it and make sure that all of the ends are secure so that the motion of the mini blending tool will not remove them. I've used um, five different inks here to make a blended night sky starting with shaded lilac, moving, moving on to wilted violet and then I bring in blueprint sketch. I'm following the shape of the images making sure that that foam has a lot of ink in it so that it will blend nicely and as you work it it blends better so just don't give up and keep keep uh, adding more ink and blending a little more and you'll have the results that you hope for and don't be too too hard on yourself especially where we're going to add different paints and sparkles and things you won't even see any of those imperfections you think that you see it looks as though there's more blueprint sketch right now, but as I add the wilted violet and then come in with the Concord grape, it changes from blue to a more um, uh, to a darker uh, with a violet undertone. I always make sure that I come back in and add more of the shaded lilac because I want it to look as though there's a glow around the images. The Concord Grape was used to blend between the Shaded Lilac and the Wilted Violet towards the end of the blending process and then the Wilted Violet blend between the Blueprint Sketch. Making sure that the black soot is used sparingly. I took the um, Picket Fence Distress Ink Refill and added a few drops along with water and just tapped a brush against my hand to add some splatter. I used the Spectrum Noir Crystal Clear Overlay Pen in the same fashion, tapping it against my hand so that I would have some sparkle splatter to resemble stars on the imagery. After removing the masks, I applied Copic markers going from darkest to lightest. I used the BG01 to map out the darker spots on the snowmen and then worked uh, three other blue markers. Um, the list of colors will be on my blog at kwarnerstudio.com. Remember to leave a comment along the blog hop, but each blog has a prize to give away. Uh, they are Christmas embellishment packs. So um, the more comments you leave on the blogs, the more ch you have a chance to win. And um, like I say, there's one, so that's seven prizes because there's seven designers and seven stops along the hop. I carried the same blue from the mittens onto the sweaters. Well, just the one sweater here. Making sure that I uh, add the darker and the crevices so that I would give some dimension to it. And it's especially, um, that you can see it here on the red and on the scarves. I move my work around a lot as I add the color and I, that's why I've cut different parts out of this because I'm spinning it all over the place and I didn't want anybody to get sick watching my video so um, the parts where I was a little more steady I've left in. But here with the bottom I I mapped in the darkest parts and then went back in with the various colors, as I said, going from darkest to lightest. This color was used on the scarves and on one of the toques. It's important that when you do something like this, you try to carry the colors over into other imagery on the panels in which you color so that you're not 
the images are not overrun with uh, different colors and your eyes are darting all over the place trying to figure out what to look at. With the scarves you can see where how helpful it is to come in with a darker color and touch it up a little bit so that you don't um, wash it out and lose the dimension. In a scarf like this if you don't do that it'll look flat but if you bring the darkest part um, you know where something is supposed to come forward it really does make the part of the scarf that's coming over the top in a knot or laid over it that it is actually in front of the rest of the scarf. And here's the green on the toque. And you can see how I'm going back in with the darker shade again. I've used uh, BVs to add uh, shape to the faces and also to cast the cast shadows and just to add shading. I would use one color, the darker color, and then just come in with one other color to, uh, to just soften the line a little bit. I didn't overly blend and then if I did lose that or wasn't happy with how it looked I went back in and add a little bit more of the darker. Sometimes bringing the line up a little bit. After I was happy with that, I let it uh, set a little bit and then I trimmed it down. I always have my pieces a little bigger than I want them to be at the end. Copic White Opaque Ink was used uh, along the bottom of the panel so that I didn't have to use too much of the glitter paste. Sometimes if you have to use a lot of glitter paste, it gets really wet and then uh, you know it saturates the bottom and you lose the shape. So after I had that and the glitter paste was still wet, I added some iridescent glitter and some diamond dust, pressing it in with my fingers. I layered sequins along with some droplets to make the pom-poms on the hat and then applied a little bell along the bottom of the toque. I stamped, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in the center of the top fold landscape panel for the inside, cutting a piece of navy shimmer paper and using uh, Be Creative tape to secure that to the bottom of the inside panel. Taking glossy accents, I applied a fine line and then I used uh, some white glitter paper from my stash that I had cut into a very thin strip and applied that on top of the blue shimmer paper. The inside panel was attached with the Nouveau Deluxe liquid glue and then uh, the white glitter paper I put a panel on the front of the card with a liquid glue and then used the B creative tape on the back of the front panel securing first the first corners but before I did that I uh, did a dry run so I could see how much room I was going to have on the side and then I stuck it down on one end removing the tape from the back and adding the whole card burnishing it with my bone folder I added a few more sparkles, the front of the card, and the inside. And here's a photograph. Thank you so much for stopping by, and please remember to leave a comment at kwarnerstudio.com to win. I'd like to know how you like the card. Goodbye.